What's up, YouTube? I told y'all I'd be back, but I got something else that I wanted to talk about that was on my mind, because it's just kind of weird, and, you know, I felt like the issue could have been fixed between them, um, but it ended up going left. The Ice Spice and Cleo beef. I didn't even bring that up earlier when I was talking, when I was uh, mentioning Ice Spice, but uh, that Ice Spice and Cleo beef is kind of crazy. And I feel like their friendship got out of hand. I felt like, you know, if they were really good friends, they should have been able to work it out. But as you can see, it don't look like they're, they're trying to rekindle their friendship at all. I actually uh, listened to the uh, video with Cleo and how she felt. And I compared it to the video uh, allegedly that Ice Spice came out with her little small video. It was like she wasn't talking, but it was music and uh, people talking, you know, with whoever was on the track talking for her, you know what I'm saying? Basically saying what, I guess, how she feel, but she's not talking. It's just a small video uh, of the response for Cleo. But, I don't know. I look at it like this. If you invite me, which Ice Spice invited Cleo out to perform for an event, you invite me, you my friend, slash best friend, you my friend, I'm gonna make sure you straight. And from listening to the interview of what Cleo was saying allegedly, you know, she had a hard time getting her, her luggage upstairs and you know, Ice Spice allegedly bodyguard wouldn't get her things. He only got Ice Spice stuff, and she had to carry her own stuff up. Like, stuff like that, I just want to make sure my friend's straight. Like, if I'm inviting you out to a rap event, I'm going to make sure you're straight. Even if I have to pay a little extra um, to get your bags up. That's just me, you know? And I would hope somebody would do that for me if they invited me out. But even if somebody invited me out, I'ma still make sure I got some type of money on me just in case. But still, I just feel like that would have been more courteous of Ice Spice allegedly. You know what I'm saying? And she just was like, you know, you 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 know my bodyguards for me. You 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 gotta find a way to get your bags up. Like I don't allegedly she said that. And I I just wouldn't have did that. I would have made sure I'm straight, and I would have made sure my friend's straight. And, you know, ain't nobody carrying no bags up no 20, 30 floors. That's crazy. And why the darn elevator won't work? I can't remember why the elevator won't work, but who, who wants to carry bags those many floors? That's crazy. So, yeah, she was pissed off about that. And I kind of can understand where Cleo coming from. But at the same time, I don't know. At the same time, I just feel like, why didn't, if Ice Spice invited her, why didn't she just make sure everybody was straight? You know what I'm saying? Why would you uh, react in a way if Cleo allegedly is trying to call you out on um, hey, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't have been like this. I shouldn't have to have gone through this. But you know, they seem different from you know they they looked at things different. Ice Spice didn't see it the way Cleo saw it, and that's why right now, looking through the internet, there's no there's no friendship right now. I heard it. <laughs> from what she's saying on the interview, it wasn't a pleasant trip. It started off as a pleasant trip, but then it ended up kind of being not so pleasant to where they don't even have a friendship. So, yeah, I definitely, if I'm the person to invite you out, I'm definitely going to make sure you're straight. And if I got to pay my bodyguard to bring your bags up, then that's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm not going to try to make that an issue. And allegedly, she said Ice Spice made that an issue. So... I don't know. And I think listening to Cleo and her interview, it seemed like 
she got a good head on her shoulder. What she's saying makes sense. And this is her story and her experience of her being friends with Ice Spice. Uh, I don't know. But from Cleo's side, it just seemed like she's just starting to see the red flags of friends. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but Ice Spice, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know if... I don't... I don't think that she is looking at it from anybody's point of view but hers because that's the reason why she responded the way she did when the event was going on and it was just a lot of things that her friend was talking about that she didn't like as far as with the event so hmm, would they be friends again I don't I don't know hmm I don't know. Because by the way Cleo was talking in the interview, it was like, nah, we done. This Basically, this this was a lesson learned. This was my wake-up call to pay attention to things like this. That's the message I got from her. But saying this Ice Spice a terrible person, I'm not saying that. I don't know the girl. But Cleo has had experiences with her that she didn't like. So... Yeah, they beefing, and I don't know if their friendship will rekindle. If you think so, comment below. But I just don't think it's going to work. I think that's it.